Well coach, back from Jacksonville with a scrimmage win. Just your initial thoughts on the game. Well, you know, we wanted to get a thing, few things out of the scrimmage. One was one we wanted to get an evaluation of our guys. But more importantly, we wanted to see them play hard. Uh, our guys played very, very hard. Uh, we, one of the things we wanted to do was not have any turnovers. And you go into a preseason game with a brand-new team, brand-new players, and, you know, you kind of hope you don't get turnovers. But uh, uh, we really accomplished that. We didn't turn the football over. We scored seven out of nine possessions. Uh, kind of stopped ourselves on two possessions on downs uh, and able to get two touchdowns off special teams. So I was pleased with that effort. You mentioned special teams and that was one of the areas going in you really didn't know too much about just due to the lack of not being able to kick. Yeah, you know, we've practiced inside and, and kickoff wise, you know, it's too low to get that good uh, look at the kickoffs. But special teams in our league and even outdoor game is about effort. And we really had good effort. We worked hard on it without kicking the ball physically during camp. And uh, the guys just did a tremendous job uh, for, for day one uh, in their first uh, experience with special teams. So uh, we, we did well in that, in that category. Uh, and Josh made all of his PATs. He was seven for seven. And then Josh hit the cross. He hit the irons three times on kickoffs. That's tremendous. And one of those turned into a touchdown. So um, great effort on, on, on that level. Although Jacksonville is the defending Arena Bowl champions, they brought a lot of new guys to the table. And... We bring uh, a lot of guys to the, the table as well. Total new faces. Just talk about you know the overall effort in the game and, and, and what you got out of it. I think, you know, talking to Les, we talked about making sure the guys played hard and played clean. Uh, there's been games around the league where that have gotten into you know, altercations with guys. We didn't have any of that. Our guys just played tough and uh, physical. Both teams did. It was a clean game. Uh, was, uh, officials called it clean. And so... Uh, I was proud of that. You know, the overall effort was tremendous. And uh, now we're into, you know, week two of camp. we got to refocus ourselves after getting off the plane today and get back to work. Looking at the final stat line of the game, looks like your defensive backs have, have really uh, shown a lot of progress, and, and the scrimmage showed that. Would you agree? You know, I, I think that uh, Coach Planning has done a really good job with them. Uh, he spent a lot of time with them in the film room and study, and it showed. Um, and the guys really tackled well. I was impressed with the way they tackled. Jacksonville ran the ball quite a bit. And uh, they really ran down the ball. They were very physical, very good tacklers. And some guys stepped up their level of play. And that was fun to see. Looking at your wide receivers, and we talked about this before we started this interview, you got yourself a bit of a log jam there. Tell us about that. No, that's a good problem to have. We've got you know six receivers uh, with Josh Bush coming in here shortly. Uh, that can all play, and then really all everyone did good things in the in the scrimmage. Um, you know, it's going to be tough. You know, only three can play at a time, so it's very very competitive. I think that's a good thing, and uh, we've got another week to kind of sort things out. Looking at your quarterbacks, that's going to be something that everyone's going to want to know as we move forward. Kurt Rocco, Brian Zevanuski, both guys played well in the scrimmage. I'm happy with both of them. They uh, they both got really good attitudes too, and. Kurt started it off and uh, started the third quarter, and, and uh, Zeb came in in the second quarter and played almost the whole fourth quarter. So they both played a lot of snaps. They did good things that took care of the ball. Uh, those were all positive things. They got the ball in their hand on time and made quick reads. We had a couple of miscues, but I'm pleased with both their efforts. So that's a good thing for the Voodoo to have two guys that are capable. Sometimes the, the guys in the trenches get forgotten about, and we won't forget about them in this. Just Tell me about the overall effort there and, and what your uh, thoughts were for that. Well, on the offensive side, I thought we protected pretty well. Uh, we had a couple of mental mistakes, um, which are disappointing but fixable. And those are things that we'll study tomorrow with, our, with the film, with the guys. Uh, defensively, we got some guys learning the game about how to rush the edge and get after the quarterback. And, uh, but the main thing is they had effort. So there's some fixable things that we'll get out of this film tomorrow, which will be important. Uh, but the effort was, I can't say that enough, uh, it's pleasing as a coach, you want to see that. We have that. Uh, it's something to build on. We have a long way to go. I mean, there's no question about that. But uh, it's a good start for the guys and for us as coaches uh, to move on to week two. You mentioned tomorrow and week two. Just tell us what is in store for these guys moving forward. Well, uh, I'm glad that we were able to kind of have a preseason game, get on a plane, go through that process of a game on the road, and travel back and then have the understanding of right back to work tomorrow. So I think that's a good lesson for these younger players. 
Uh, we're at watching film tomorrow, and we're right back in pads, and we're going to get after it again. We've got to refocus. This preseason game's over. Uh, it's time to refocus. This is a critical week for some players as we have to make decisions to, for our final roster. So uh, it's going to be very important over the next uh, you know, four or five days until we got to cut down uh, for a lot of these players and their effort. Coach, as always, thanks for your time. See you tomorrow at practice. No problem.